So this question is asking us to compare and contrast um, magnetic induction topography and transcranial magnetic stimulation. So MIT versus TMS. Um, and they're asking which statement comparing these two processes are true. Um, so let's first quickly review what TMS is about. So suppose you have a patient um, and you want to um, induce a current in a region of the patient's brain. So what you do is you put a coil above the patient's brain and of course it's connected to the battery and you have a current running through it therefore you have a you have created a magnetic field going through this coil and it's gonna go through the patient's skull onto this conductive region in the patient's brain and because you um, turn on the current in this coil that will cause a changing magnetic field going through this coil. In other words, there's going to be a changing magnetic flux, therefore inducing a current going through the, uh, uh, going around in the circular region um, in the patient's brain. So the goal of TMS is to sort of um, produce some effect in the, in the patient's brain um, to see how the patient would react. So that's the process of TMS. Um, whereas MIT is more about, um, say, this is the ground, right? Um, you first have a source coil that has a source um, current. And this, of course, would induce a magnetic field through the ground. And then um, you will induce a response from the bottom like in the below ground in the soil, for example. And this is going to have an induced current in the ground. And this induced current will then, in effect, produce a magnetic field back. And then you're going to use um, another coil to measure this new magnetic field. And so in this case, MIT is not used to produce an effect in the soil. It's not to produce a response from the soil. It is there to measure something directly in the soil by having multiple different coils, one producing the magnetic field and one measuring the response magnetic field from um, the soil that it is measuring. So let's, look, let's read all the statements in the question to see which one would fit uh, what we just discussed. So letter A says, both MIT and TMS have source currents in coils, source magnetic fields, and induced currents. Well, in TMS, we do have a source current in the coil. Um, we do have source magnetic field going through to the patient's brain, and we do induce a current in the patient's brain. For MIT, we again do have a source current in coils and then the source magnetic field and we also induce a current. By the way, I did not draw the directions of the current according to Linz's law. I just drew a direction for uh, sake of simplicity and clarity, but um, I did not go through any um, real uh, Linz's law here to draw the correct direction. So ignore the direction, just know that I'm trying to represent current here. So A seems to check out. Um, let's go to statement letter. B, statement B says, um, MIT detects the induced magnetic field produced by the induced current, TMS does not. So MIT does have this extra step where the induced current um, also has the induced magnetic field and this new coil right here is measuring um, the induced magnetic field. So MIT does have that step. What about TMS? Well, TMS, this process stops at um, the point where a current is induced in the patient's brain because your goal is to elicit a response from the patient to see if um, this electrical um, interference really does anything to the patient's uh, brain and body. So um, it does not measure or detect an induced magnetic field produced by this induced current, it simply stops at the point where it has induced a current. So TMS uh, does not 
um, do that. So B checks out as well. What about letter C? Um, MIT provides information directly about the imaged area, whereas TMS disrupts some brain activity and the disruption is measured in some other way. So like I've already said many times, TMS is there to elicit a response from the patient. So it makes sense that the TMS is there to disrupt brain activity by inducing this current in the small region of the patient's brain. Um, but it is up to the doctor and the physician, the researcher to figure out how the disruption is measured. Um, whereas TMS actually does provide information directly about the imaged area. That's the point of measuring the response um, induced magnetic field. So C checks out as well. Um, so out of all the choices, letter E is the best option because it says A, B, and C are all correct.